welcome to Living Room Theater. It's me, Kesa, and I am so stoked to make some theater with you today. So today we are going to talk about stage directions. Stage directions are instructions about what your character does or where they move on stage. Stage directions can typically be found in your script. They're usually in italics next to your lines. But sometimes directors also give you extra stage directions. Stage directions are things like take a sip of milk or look suspiciously at one another or turn on the light. Um, they can also be things like enter stage left or cross center stage or exit stage right. Those last three examples that I just gave you all included um, references to specific places or positions on the stage. You'll notice I said stage right, center stage, stage left. And that's what we're going to focus on today because these positions are super important for actors to know before they enter the rehearsal room. We'll focus on the five most commonly used stage directions. These are positions that are typically used in a traditional theater, the one where there's a flat curtain and the audience is on one side of the action. It's also called a proscenium. These five stage directions are stage left, stage right, upstage, downstage, and center stage. So to begin with, let's start with stage left. If a director or a script says stage left, what they're referring to is the direction directly to the left of the actor on stage from their perspective facing the audience. This is super lucky and super easy because all that we have to remember is our natural left because that too is stage left. So as long as you're facing the audience, if you look to your left, that is stage left. And same thing with stage right, it's our natural right. So again, if you're facing the audience and you're on stage, stage right is that direction to your natural right. Now, upstage and downstage are a little bit more complicated, but bear with me because it's also super interesting. So upstage is further away from the audience, if you're backing up away from the audience and towards the back wall of the theater. Downstage is closer to the audience, so if you walk down towards the audience. We say upstage and downstage because a long time ago we actually used to build our stages on a slant so that the audience could see all of the actors no matter where they were standing on the stage. Today we figured out that it's actually a lot easier just to raise the audience. It's easier for all parties involved and have a flat stage, which is probably the theaters that you're familiar with today. But that wasn't how it was always done and we've kind of hung on to those traditional names and continue to use them to this day. So if you have difficulty remembering upstage and downstage, just remember that the stages used to actually be slanted and so that was actually up. The last one that I talked about is center stage, which I'm assuming you've probably already guessed is right in the middle of all of these directions in the center of the stage. Sometimes you'll see a combination of these, like downstage right, and all that means is you're going to go both downstage and to the right, or upstage left, same thing, you're going to go both upstage and to the left. This just allows us to get a little bit more specific about the directions on the stage. So now that you have a basic idea, basic understanding of these different stage directions, let's get up on our feet, practice, and play a little game. Great! Let's pretend that the audience is seated along this back wall here with all of the plants, and you and I are on a stage together. So to do that, I'm actually going to turn my back to you so that our left and rights are the same and we're both facing the audience. So if we're on stage together and a director says, walk stage left, what direction will we go? We'll go that way because that's our natural left. If the director says stage right, we'll go this way because that's our natural right. If the director says downstage, we'll walk down towards the audience or forward. And if the director says upstage, we'll walk backwards and up to the back of the theater. Great, let's practice that a couple more times. So stage right, we'll walk over here. Downstage, we'll walk over here towards the audience. Upstage, We'll walk over here. What if the director says downstage left? Remember, we're gonna do those two, so we'll go both downstage and to the left, which kind of lands us in this corner over here. Um, downstage right, we'll go over here, and up 
center stage, which is going to be center and up. Awesome. So now that we've gone over that a couple times, we'll move on and make this a little bit trickier for you. But if you want to rewind and review those basic stage directions a few more times before you continue with the video, that's totally okay. Practice makes perfect. So now let's pretend that I am a director. So I'm going to step off of the stage and come down into the audience, into the auditorium, and I'm going to give you different stage directions and you're going to have to walk them on your own. So stage left. Did you walk there? Stage right, over that direction, upstage, that way, downstage, this way. Awesome. Let's do it some more. Um, go stage right, go stage left, go downstage right, upstage left. Center stage. Great job, everyone. Okay, awesome. So now we are going to move on and make this into a game because it's really important to have these directions really clearly in your head. It is so helpful to know these before you go into a rehearsal room. So here's how we're going to play the game. I am still going to be the director and I'm going to give you different stage directions that you have to do now that you kind of know the layout of the land over there. But you have to do it very, very quickly because I'm going to keep shooting them at you super fast and you have to make sure that you get to the certain space before I tell you the next one. So you might need to do some quick movement here, okay? I'm also going to make this a little trickier by giving you other kinds of stage directions mixed in. So like at the beginning of this video, these could be things like take a sip of milk and you'll mime taking a sip of milk, but you'll do it quickly. Or turn on the light and you'll mime turning on a light. Or I'll say, do a rocket launch, and really quickly you'll do a rocket launch, okay? So again, speed is crucial here. Speed and commitment to the movement that you're doing. All right, let's get started. So, first up is center stage. Upstage left. Look suspiciously at the screen. Downstage. Jump up in fright. Stage right, let loose an evil laugh. Upstage left, play air guitar really energetically. Downstage right, faint and fall to the ground. Center stage, chew a sandwich loudly. Upstage left, scream in fear. Downstage right, burst into tears. Center stage, do five jumping jacks. Stage left, run around the stage like you have a spider on your back that you can't get off. Go! Ah! Great job, everyone. I hope that you had fun today, and I hope that this video made you feel much more prepared and confident when it comes to stage directions. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. And finally, from my living room to yours, let's make some theater.